Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to Crystal Vision 1111. This is a general love reading for the collective. Not all of the messages that come through in this reading may apply to everyone. So please only take in from this reading what speaks to your soul and what resonates for you and for your situation and release the rest to the universe. Let's see what the universe wants to reveal for this reading today, please. What do we need to know? I want to leave the past behind us and start over with you. This is very much your person saying here, they want a new beginning. They want to wipe the slate clean and start over. But this time you will both be in a different space. You will be more elevated. You will gained greater spiritual awareness and spiritual growth during this time apart because that is truly the only way for anyone to get through a kind of separation like you've been going through with this person. And with you both being in this more elevated space, more elevated mindset. It gives this connection between the two of you so much greater stability and staying power. Now, this isn't your person just wanting to show up and kind of like forget everything from the past. Oh, no, because your person has grown up. They have gained their own spiritual maturity and awakening while you have been apart from each other, just like you have. Your person, when they show up, they do want to apologize. They want to express themselves and tell you about everything and anything and everything about why they created the conflict between you, why they abandoned this connection, why they ran, why they ghosted, why they denied their feelings for you, insert whatever behavior here. Your person wants to explain all of this to you. And then once they have apologized and you guys have talked about it and cleared the air, they want to leave all of that stuff in the past and start over and have this new beginning with you. And this time it will have greater staying power than it did in the past because you've both changed and evolved during the time that you have been in separation. Let's see what else the universe wants to reveal. What do we need to hear? What do we need to know? Never forget that you will always have a place in my heart. Your person can't forget you. They can't deny their feelings for you. Otherwise, why would they say you'll always have a place in my heart? And you do have this place in your person's heart the majority of their heart, actually. And they're basically saying here, please don't forget me. Right now, I am not worthy of you, and I'm not worthy of this love. I am working on my stuff, and I need to work on this stuff so that when we can start over, I will be in that same space that you are. I will have elevated myself to the same loving energy that you have. This is what your person is saying here. Don't ever forget that you belong to this person. They are saying here as well that they are going to show up for you and they're going to come back and they're going to create this fresh start and new beginning between the two of you. Only this time they will be ready for the magnitude of this love and for what this connection means for the two of you. Let's see what else the universe wants to reveal for this reading today, please. What does the collective need to know? What do we need to hear? What is happening here? I want to move on and let you go, but I just can't. They cannot move on and let you go. Okay, guys, something keeps pulling me back to you. I feel that we have unfinished business. Well, yes, you do have unfinished business with each other because there's more to this story. There's more to this connection than just moving on and letting it go right now. And your person has definitely awakened to that. And you have always known that. You've always known that there was something more in this connection with your person. Have you, you guys watching this reading, truly been able to move on from this relationship? 
No, you can't move on. Your person can't move on either. Something is holding them in this space. And that is the universe. That is the powers that be. That is God. That is the angels, your guides. Everyone is working to hold this connection in place because yes, you do have unfinished business with each other. And that unfinished business is actually to embrace this relationship, leave the past behind and have this fresh start with the two of you both being in this more elevated space where you're both ready for the magnitude of this union and what it means to be together. The universe is pulling them back to you. Their angels, their guides are pulling them back to you. And your energy is actually pulling them back to you as well. And you can feel that pull as well, can't you guys? You feel that pull back to this person. You are both feeling it because you know that there is a destiny and a fate here between you that still needs to unfold. And that is what your person is talking about. You do have unfinished business together. And that is the two of you being in union with each other. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading. What does the universe want to tell us? Nothing and no one compares to you. Well, of course, when you have had a divine counterpart connection, nothing will ever compare to that. No one can compare to you. And this is a divine counterpart connection that you have with your person. And you guys know this. You can feel it and experience it. And so can your person because there is more to this story and even if your person has tried to go out with others during the time that you have been in separation, they're acknowledging here that no one compares to you. Have you tried going out with other people? You guys watching this reading, have you tried dating someone else? Have you tried going out with them? What happens when you go out with someone else? How does it feel? Does it feel like something is missing in that connection because there's no click with that person because they are not your person. They are not this energy that has been traveling with you through countless lifetimes, always finding each other, always making your way back to each other, lifetime after lifetime. No one compares to you. And that is what your person is saying here. Only you can satisfy what they are truly looking for within their heart and within their soul. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading. What does the universe want to reveal? What does the collective need to know? I just can't stop loving you. Your person can't stop loving you just like you can't stop loving them. There's more to this story than where it is at the moment. This is just that gigantic pause. Like if there was a movie about this relationship, between you and your person, this would be like the intermission time where everyone gets up and they go and get popcorn or they get candy and a drink. Perhaps they go to the restroom. Perhaps they go outside and walk around for a little bit. But this is a giant pause. Your person can't stop loving you because the love that you have for each other spans so many lifetimes so many different scenarios with each other through those lifetimes and your person is acknowledging here i can't forget you i can't move on from you i can't release this connection because i can't stop loving you no matter what i do your person may have tried to move on they may have tried to go out with someone else but no one compares to you because they can't stop loving you. Have you tried going out with someone else other than your person during the time that you have been in this separation space from each other? How did that go for you, you guys watching the reading? I mean, you can meet some really nice people and you can have some really cool experiences with others, but do they compare to the energy that you feel when you are with your person? Probably not. Your person is saying the same thing here because no one compares to you and they can't stop loving you. Their feelings for you are not going away. That is what they're saying because you will always have a place in their heart. Their feelings for you aren't just going to poof, disappear. That's not going to happen because they want to start over. Something is holding them in place and it is the love 
that has existed for all of those lifetimes, through all of those centuries of the love that you have shared with this person, that is what is pulling them back to you. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading. What does the universe want to reveal? What does the collective need to hear today, please? I thought true love didn't exist. Well, thought is past tense, and your person is basically admitting here that they were wrong, just wrong, because they are acknowledging that true love does exist because they can't stop loving you. If true love didn't exist, then they'd be able to stop loving you, wouldn't they? They wouldn't have feelings for you anymore. They would just truly move on with their life, but they can't because no one compares to you. No one. And you have lit this fire within your person, within their heart and within their soul, and it burns for you. This is why they want to start over. They want to work through all of these issues that they created in the past with you and have this new beginning with you. They want to start again because they can't stop loving you. They're acknowledging here that true love does exist. And it is the love that exists between you and this person. That is what true love is. They get that. They see that. They are definitely aware of that now because no one compares to you. Even if they've tried to go out with someone else, even if you tried to go out with someone else, does anyone compare to your person? Is anyone like them? Do they float your boat or stir your passion or ignite that flame within you like your person does. And that's what your person is saying here. No one compares to you. No one can fulfill them. No one makes them laugh. No one makes them smile. No one turns them on. No one else can ignite that spark that is within them like you can. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading. What does the universe want us to hear today, please? What does the collective need to know? When I lost you, I lost me. And your person is very possibly floundering around a little bit here, trying to find themselves, trying to find their way back to you. But they will. They lost themselves, though. They don't feel whole without you. They don't feel complete without you. Do you feel complete without your person being in your life? You guys watching this reading, how can you feel complete? without this person. You complete each other. You are two halves of the soul trying to come into union. And that is the magnitude of this connection. You belong together like yin and yang, like peas and carrots. You belong together. Yes, I think that was Forrest Gump. But the point is, your person feels lost without you. They are lost without your love. They are lost without your presence by their side. You always gave them this comfort, this calming energy, the presence of who you are, just being around them. You filled them with this love and with this hope. That's why they're saying here no one compares to you. They don't feel complete without you in their life. And that is something that your person is well aware of. They feel lost without you. They feel lost without your love. And they have awakened to this fact that they can't stop loving you no matter what they do. They can't move on because the universe is pulling the two of you back into this connection. Because there is a destiny and a fate that you and this person need to fulfill and complete with each other in this lifetime for the evolution of your souls. And this is an agreement that you made with this person long before you were born, that you would provide life lessons and experiences for each other by being in each other's lives. Right now, you are learning these lessons when you are in this separation space. But the time is coming when the two of you are coming back together and starting over so you can continue on this journey together and have the more fun and exciting and loving and just full of love and passion 
life lessons that come as a result of being in union with each other. We'll use some tarot cards now. This is our deck, Enchanted Crystal Tarot. There is a link in the description. These are our cards as well. There's a link in the description for all of our cards. But for right now, we are moving on with this reading to see what else the universe wants to reveal. What do we need to know? Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today. What does the collective need to hear? What does the universe want to reveal? This is the hermit. The hermit tells us that at, your, at the moment, your person is doing a lot of self-reflection. They are looking within themselves and they are spending that time to really gain a greater awareness and understanding of their words the actions and the behaviors that cause this disconnect between the two of you. And they are doing a lot of that soul searching and gaining a greater understanding of themselves. The hermit is ruled by Virgo. So if you or your person have your sun, moon, or rising signs in Virgo, a place of validation here in this reading, but you don't have to be Virgo for this reading to work for you or resonate with you. This also tells us, this Hermit card, that your person is spending a lot of time kind of like by themselves right now, trying to figure themselves out, trying to gain a greater understanding of who they are and why they have acted and reacted in terms of being hurtful and damaging in this connection with you. And they have gained this greater awareness of themselves. They see it. They're getting to this place where they're going to come out of this hermit cave, though, and start reaching out to you. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading. What does the universe want to reveal? What does the collective need to know? What do we need to hear? Well, this is the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords tells us that your person is trying to figure out what's going on with you. Perhaps they are looking at your social media. Perhaps they are trying to figure out where you are with what's going on with you. This page of swords also tells us though that your person is thinking so much about you right now. They are taking a lot of trips down memory lane and they are reliving a lot of the experiences that you had with each other. But very much so, they are trying to figure out What's going on in your life? They're trying to see if you're alone. They're trying to see if you have someone else around you. They're trying to see if you have moved on. The Page of Swords is an air sign. So if you or your person have your sun, moon, or rising in Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, this can be a place of validation that there is a message in this reading for you, but you don't have to be an air sign for this reading to work. This is very much the energy of what's going on with your person. They are spending a lot of time thinking about things. They are spending a lot of time reflecting upon their words and their actions that they well that created so much damage in this connection trying to figure out as well how they can make amends for that and what they're going to do to fix it let's see what else we need to know for this reading what does the universe want to reveal what does the collective need to hear what do we need to know this is the ten of pentacles the ten of pentacles is a card of long-term partnership and family coming together to celebrate that partnership. The Ten of Pentacles tells us that your person sees a future with you and they see longevity in this connection with you. They do see this future in terms of like a long-term partnership, a long-term romance. As well, with that Ten of Pentacles being present, it tells us that there's going to be so much greater stability in this relationship because your person wants that stability to be there. This is about them starting over on this strong foundation because, again, no one compares to you. And this is how they see this future with you, this rock-solid future. The two of you, Perhaps having a family, combining your families, planning families, please only take that if it resonates. This is about a future plan and your person seeing this connection with you for the long haul, seeing this connection with you as the one for them. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading. What does the universe want us to know today, please? What does the collective need to hear? 
This is the Eight of Pentacles. Now, the Eight of Pentacles is an interesting card because it is the card of the apprentice, the card of the student. This tells us and it confirms very loudly and very strongly that your person is getting their act together. The Eight of Pentacles is about the life lessons that your person has needed for their own growth, for their awakening. While they are being this hermit up on this cave here, they are going through and experiencing what they need to, to grow, to change and evolve, to become a better person, to become a better partner who can give to you equally or more than what they've given to you in the past, who will be there for you, who will show up for you, who will stand by your side all the time. That is the energy of this eight of pentacles. Your person is learning so much by not having you in their life. And yes, it is difficult for you and you are learning as well. This eight of pentacles is all about the life lessons that each one of you are having individually at the moment. Whatever you are learning about yourself, your own spiritual growth, and awakening and transformation that's happening for you right now, your person is going through that as well. And they say it very loudly here, no one compares to you. That is a major life lesson that your person is experiencing right now while you are in this separation space. And it's also lighting a fire under them that's saying they are getting ready to start making their way back to you. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading. What does the collective need to know? What does the universe want to reveal? Well, this is the Six of Cups. And the Six of Cups is a card of reminiscing. Your person taking so many trips down memory lane, thinking about what they should have done, what they could have done. What if they weren't fearful? What if they were able to embrace the intensity of this connection? What if they hadn't ran? What if they hadn't ghosted? What if they hadn't failed you? What if, what if? But your person is spending that time in contemplation with this hermit card being here, thinking through all the different variants of what if I had done X, Y, and Z differently. And that's okay. That's what they need to go through and experience right now. They need to feel that. They need to reflect upon this because this is the very thing that's causing them to gain greater awareness and greater understanding of themselves and their place in the universe and their place in this connection. The Six of Cups is very much a card about someone from the past returning. And this is your person returning from the past so the two of you can reestablish this relationship with both of you being in this more elevated space because you've both learned through the life lessons and experiences that you've had individually while you have been in this place of separation from each other but this ten of pentacles that crowns the ten of pentacles crowns this reading i guess kind of like a tiara right that Ten of Pentacles is about long-term partnership. It is about long-term union. And it is about having a family and creating that family life with your person. Please only take that if it resonates for you. But it also means extended family as well. Brothers, sisters, parents, grandparents, cousins, family reunion kind of energy. But it is about establishing a strong foundation for a future and taking that relationship long term let's see what else we need to know for this reading let's see what else the universe wants to reveal let's see what we need to know what does the collective need to know well okay look deep within your heart and you will feel my love my love for you is as deep as the ocean and this is very much what your person is saying here to look deep within your heart and you will feel their love their love for you is as deep as the ocean and you know what guys the last time I checked the ocean is pretty deep right miles deep in some places 
Your person is saying here their love for you is as deep as the ocean and to look within your heart and feel their love for you. And maybe this is you being this hermit at the moment, trying to feel and experience the love that your person has for you. This does tell us that your person is returning. This Six of Cups is about someone from the past returning to reestablish this relationship and get it on its forward movement, especially with that Ten of Pentacles being there, which is about long-term partnership and long-term union. But your person is expressing their love for you here. The love that they feel for you is deep within their heart, just like the love that you feel for them is deep within your heart very much the energy of this Six of Cups. The love that you have always had for each other through countless lifetimes, through all of the lifetimes that you have shared with each other. That is how deep this love between you and this person is. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What does the universe want to reveal? What do we need to hear? Perfect timing. Okay, so this card does have an hourglass on it, and perfect timing may not be what we consider to be perfect timing, right guys? I hate to say that, but I do feel that that's what this is saying. But it is in perfect timing within the divine timing of the universe, and the plan that the universe has in place for you, your person, and this connection. This story between you and this person isn't over. It's just that your person has momentarily pressed the pause button on the DVR of this relationship so they can get their act together, so they can figure themselves out. And they need this growth during the time that they are in this place of being apart from you so that you can build this rock solid relationship. That comes with that Ten of Pentacles. But you are on their mind. They are thinking about you all the time. Do not think that they've forgotten you. Do not think that they can forget you. They are just having to learn and they are having to grow. Think of them like the hermit here, holding this crystal up on the mountain, figuring themselves out. This is what your person is doing right now, especially with that hermit card being here. But they want to know how you've been. They want to see what's going on with you. And they may be looking at your social media or trying to find out about you through some other means here to see what's going on in your life. But as well, this page of swords is about your person getting ready to reach out and communicate with you. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading. What does the universe want to reveal? What does the collective need to know? What do we need to hear, please? Abundance. Look at all the animal creatures on this card. Let's see here. There's a fox. There is an elk or a deer. There are squirrels. There are other woodland creatures on this card as well. This is very much about the abundance of love that is here between you and your person. But as well, I feel that this is telling us that at the moment, perhaps you or your person are focused on financial security and stability, especially because we do have this 10 and this 8 of pentacles, which are cards of financial stability and abundance and perhaps even learning something new with that eight of pentacles guard to gain greater financial security and stability but this is so much about the abundance of love that is here between you and your person and you feel it and you know it and you experience it for yourselves guys you know what this connection with your person is all about and you understand that right now they are in this space where they are having to figure themselves out and they are having to grow and evolve just like you have. So this relationship, when it does come to this place of reunion, which is what this Six of Cups is about, the Six of Cups is a card of reconciliation and reunion coming back together. That you are both in this more evolved space. That you both have grown and learned the life lessons and experiences that come with that eight of pentacles that you each need to have 
so that you can have this journey back towards each other and reunite and reconcile with each other. So let's see what else we need to know for this reading. What does the universe want us to hear, please? Intentions. Well, your person's intentions are to reconcile with you. And that is very much the energy of that Six of Cups. Your person would like to start over. They want to start again. And what do they say here? I want to leave the past behind and start over with you. And that is very much what that Six of Cups card is about. Your person's intentions is to learn from this experience that they are learning right now. With that hermit card, they are learning from this separation so that when you come back together, you have this rock solid foundation to move this connection forward towards union. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading. What does the universe want us to hear? reminiscing well yes and that is very much the energy of the six of cups as well your person taking a lot of trips down memory lane thinking about what they should have done what they could have done differently what they could have done better how they could have prevented this separation that you're going through right now but the bottom line is your person wasn't ready for you, they weren't ready for the magnitude of this love, of this intense love energy that's here between the two of you that spans so many lifetimes. All of the lifetimes that you have shared with this person are converging in this lifetime. And that is the magnitude of the love that's here. That is a very deep, strong, powerful love, guys. Your person is spending a lot of time reminiscing about you and about this connection and what they should have been done differently and what they could have done better and why they weren't ready and why they were fearful and why they were afraid. Spending that time in self-reflection, thinking about all of it. But this is what they need to do to get this relationship with you on the forward momentum that it is trying to go. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading. What does the universe want to reveal? What does the collective need to hear today, please? Meant to be. Well, yes, this connection with your person is meant to be. Haven't you always felt that? Your person has felt that as well. The universe is also at work doing what they can to try and move things along because you and this person do have a destiny to fulfill with each other for this lifetime in terms of coming into union, in terms of whatever that destiny is between you and this person as you are in union. And that is something that is very personal and very spiritual to the two of you that you will discover or uncover as you come into this union place. But for some of you out there watching the reading, you may already know what that destiny is with your person, what your soul gift to the world is going to be as a result of having this strong spiritual counterpart connection, we do provide a soul gift to the world that will help others as well. Let's see what else the universe. Well, true feelings. Okay, your person's true feelings are going to come pouring out of them, right? And if they have not expressed their feelings to you in the past, well, that's going to be different because that is part of this journey with your person as well. To be able to express your feelings to each other. And if your person has not shared with you yet how they feel about you, that is something that is going to be different. Because if this connection is meant to be, and your person's intentions are to return to you, then they're going to have to express their true feelings their real feelings, not the ones that they kept hidden. Their true feelings are the ones they kept hidden, okay? Those are the feelings that are going to come pouring out of your person. That is the energy of this reading. And your person has always felt this love for you. 
That is very much that Ten of Pentacles energy. They have always seen this future with you. They just weren't ready for it before. They had to go off on this solo journey that comes with that hermit. Kind of like be in that space of figuring themselves out so that they could be ready for what they were feeling for you, for what they felt inside for you, for what is meant to be. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. Let's see what the universe wants to reveal. What does the collective need to know? What do we need to hear? Right timing. Have faith and wait until you find the right one. Well, you have found the right one. It's just that you're waiting for the right timing for things to come into union. Hold on, self-love and soon. So have faith and wait for your person to get their act together, to come out of this place of isolation where they are, so the two of you can start rebuilding this relationship in accordance with this divine plan that is laid out here in this relationship between you and your person. At the moment, it is saying to have faith and wait for the right timing. Your person is the right one. It's just they have not been ready. But during this time, they are reflecting, they are doing soul searching, they are working on themselves to get ready. They've said here throughout this reading, never forget, you always have a place in my heart. They can't move on. Something is keeping them here in this connection with you because they know that there's a destiny and fate. They feel true love for you. They can't move past that. They can't stop loving you. This connection does come with this sense of fate and destiny attached to it. And because it does, we have to trust in the right timing, which is the divine timing of the universe. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What does the universe want to reveal? What does the collective need to know? Mend souls, love with purpose, heal with compassion. Yes, and this is about the two of you coming into union to mend each other's souls. This is about empathy, renewal, and forgiveness. And you do share that strong empathy with your person. You guys know that, you guys watching this reading. You can feel and experience everything that they are feeling. You know what that feels like. Your person can as well. And that is sort of like the beauty of this connection. Sometimes it can feel like a bit of a curse at times, but there is this sense of empathy between you and your person because this is a deep soul bond connection. You feel it, your person feels it, and that is very much what is happening here. Love with a purpose, and you do love each other with a purpose, and you will see that love destiny unfold between you as the two of you come together and start building this connection on this rock solid foundation. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What do we need to hear? Love stories, communicating and saying what needs to be said. Yes. What needs to be said to each other expressions of your love for each other that is something that is coming with your person and your person if they have not expressed their love to you before they are going to be able to express their love for you as you start spending time together and as you start rebuilding this relationship let's see what else we need to know for this reading today please what does the collective need to hear Enchanted whisper, listen to your heart and take a chance on love. Yes, wonder, dreams, and promise. Your person is going to take a chance on love here, guys. That is very much what this is about. And they're taking this chance on love with you because they are listening to their heart. Throughout this reading, we've been seeing them having this awareness and this understanding that this connection between the two of you is the right connection. And this is very much what is happening here with your person. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading today, please. What does the universe want to reveal? What does the collective need to know? Unlock happiness. 
Be vulnerable and open yourself to real love. And that is very much what is happening here in this connection with your person. You are both opening yourselves to this real love that is here, to this love that you share with each other. Your person knows that you're the one for them. They've always known it. They just weren't ready for it. But with this time, they are getting ready. They are healing. They are releasing. They are growing. They are evolving. And they are becoming so much more aware of this connection and what it means. And that is why they are spending this time like the hermit at the moment upon the mountaintop figuring themselves out so they can return to you and the two of you can come into this rock solid ten of pentacles union with each other what else do we need to know for this reading today what does the universe want to reveal what do we need to know love's wings put aside differences and soar to the next level yes divine devotion and ascend. This is very much about the two of you coming into union and spending time together, acknowledging the divine within each other, putting aside your differences, your person apologizing and kind of like showing you and explaining to you where they went wrong and why they created this disconnect between the two of you, wanting to embrace this love and embrace this connection and allow the two of you to soar to the next level. And that is exactly what it will feel like. The two of you just moving to this next level together because your person during this time apart, although it's been very difficult for you to experience this separation, they are getting ready for union. And that is truly the best way to try and look at it, even though it's difficult and even though it's hard and you miss them. But they need to be full on ready for you because that is what's going to give this connection the stability that it needs to go long term. Let's see what else we need to know for this reading. What does the universe want to reveal? What does the collective need to hear? Tenderness. Having a gentle spirit and being able to care deeply. Well, yes, and that it's the real deal and a good match. And there is going to be this great sense of tenderness in this connection with your person as you come back and start rebuilding this relationship and are able to come into union. You will see a side of them that you have perhaps not seen or perhaps only had a small glimpse of. Your person is going to be different because they are spending this time to figure themselves out. They are growing and evolving and changing just like you have. Perhaps they're having to grow and evolve and change in different ways, but they are doing it and that's what this hermit is all about. But they are spending a lot of time thinking about you, reminiscing about all of the wonderful memories and experiences that you have with each other, acknowledging that there are true feelings here, even though they may have hidden them or denied them, because they know that the two of you share something that is very strong and very powerful, and that the two of you belong in union. And that's why they say here, look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. That love from your person is deep within your heart. Can you feel it? Can you feel that love from your person? Shut off all the chatter that is in your head, all the fear that this may not work out, and get into that quiet space. Look deep within your heart and ask yourself if you can feel your person's love for you. There you will find the answers you seek because your person is saying here they're on their way back to you and that to have faith because they are coming as soon as they have finished going through this period of transformation because the two of you belong together. This is your reading for today, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this reading, please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe to the channel. We appreciate all of you so very much. 
Blessings of peace, love, and light. Have a great day, everyone.